Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. You had a piece of writing on a book you didn't read. These concepts transition all the way through the lead out for presenting some text evidence or concepts that we've been studying in class and you're having a hard time even demonstrating these concepts, mostly because you don't know what to write because you didn't read, read the book. That's trouble. It's what's known as a compounded problem. You didn't read and now you got to write about what you didn't read and you can't write about what you didn't read because you didn't read. And if that hurt your head listening to that, it hurts my head just thinking about it as an English teacher that this is your problem right now. But it's a fixable problem. You got to want to be able to fix it. You're not going to be able to necessarily read and complete this writing. So and this is a problem that students have encountered for years and years and years. It is not new to you. And I can't believe I'm going to say this now, but I'm going to show you how how you can get around it, how you can demonstrate that you understand transition, lead in, and a tag in order to present a piece of text evidence before you lead out of it and say, here's how that piece of text evidence supports the thing I'm trying to prove, even though you didn't read. So I just picked one of these pieces of text evidence at random. It was number two, it was like the first one that caught my brain, mostly because I don't know. It's not, I don't think it's the greatest piece of text evidence uh, in this whole document. And there's, you have, if you have to choose three and there's, and there's eight to choose from, I'm going to show you how you can even handle one that's, you know, not even a great piece of evidence to suggest Atticus is a, a good role model for, or tries to be a role model for his kids. So anyway, at some point, these, I know these are Atticus's words because I did look them up. They're on page 101. You just hold your head high and keep those fists down. No matter what anyone says to you, don't let them get your goat. Try fighting with your head for a change. It's a good one, even if it does resist learning. And I thought, well, if I don't know anything about this, who might know something about this? And I thought, well, the internet. The internet might know something about this. People on the internet. And so I copied just a small chunk. And I opened up a new tab and I pasted it in. And here's what you end up getting. It's way zoomed in. Let me zoom out a little bit. Mm, looks like there's a number of, oh, it was this one. Yeah, homework help. Uh, here's the quote, essentially. And uh, even though the page number in the chapter is different than ours, I think. Uh, this person simply writes, he, probably meaning Atticus. He means try thinking using and using your mind before you act impulsively. I like that word impulsive. That's kind of what she does. She just like throws her fist when she gets mad. And it's this idea of fighting with your mind, which is what lawyers do. And that's what Atticus does. I mean, he fights with his mind. Uh, and then I thought, well, that th didn't help me that much. It gave me a little bit, but it didn't help me that much. So I looked it up again. I opened up a new tab and I looked it up again and I found another website and this person writes uh, that it's out of chapter nine. This person calls Scout a fighter. He spells Cecil Jacobs' name incorrectly, but it's true that Cecil Jacobs had insulted her father uh, and then she just inflicts <laughs> the only justice she knows how to and she, she just starts whomping on Cecil Jacobs for talking trash about her dad. So. This is what's going on. A scout is being admonished or she's kind of getting in trouble a little bit for beating up Cecil. Um, looks like this writer says here Atticus instills in scout, not capitalized. Oh, he's like trying to teach her self-discipline and allowing her head to deal with conflict rather than letting your fists deal with conflict. So this guy does a, a much better job six years ago of kind of uh, reminding or maybe for the first time letting you know like in the context of what's been happening surrounding this quotation it's this idea that scout just got done beating up on cecil jacobs for for talking trash about her about her dad he insulted her father probably about defending tom robinson um 
And then I also looked up this thing about getting your goat. When you get someone's goat, it's essentially your, someone irritates you when they get your goat. They get under your skin, so to speak. So yeah, if you didn't read this, you can still figure out a way to write about it a little bit, at least to be able to demonstrate that you understand these terms. I mean, you dug yourself a hole, you didn't read the book, you don't know what to write because you didn't read the book. But if we started just over here, well, first of all, I'm gonna make sure I punctuate this correctly. So this is, it's some dialogue, so it's gonna require these three marks of punctuation. So I'm quoting something that's already in quotation marks in the book, period on the outside for the citation. Transitions are on page nine in your packet. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna choose one for now, pretending like this is, a, I'm adding on to my argument. Furthermore, for us, transitions get bolded, control B. And then I think, well, I pasted some common questions down here for lead-ins and lead-ins are like, you know, what's been ha happening in the context of this yellow stuff? Who's involved? What's the conversation in the context of this yellow stuff? Where are readers? When are they? So for us, for that quote, it's like, you know, what's been happening? I'm just gonna paste this in that same spot here, just as a reminder to myself. You know, what's been happening? Scout just got done beating up Cecil Jacobs and her dad's just letting her know, like, don't do that. Who's involved? Atticus, Scout, Cecil Jacobs. What's the conversation? The conversation is about, you know, keeping your fists down. Don't beat up on people just because they're talking trash. Where are we? I don't know. I think maybe we might be at the Finch house, but I could always leave that part out. It's not that important. When are we? I don't know. I don't know if it's like lunchtime or after school or what, but in terms of what's been happening, I'm just going to keep this simple. If I'm going to, if I'm going to demonstrate, I know what a lead in is. I can, I can do this much and still do fairly well. What's been happening. I like the word when for lead ins. Actually, I'm going to use the word after in this case, after Atticus learns that scout beat up, even if you didn't know Cecil Jacobs name or you couldn't figure out how to spell it right. I mean, you could, you could make it more general after Atticus learns that scout beat up a classmate who was talking trash about him. Gamma, these are Atticus's words. I did look them up on 101 just to double check. They are Atticus's words. Atticus tells his, da tells his daughter. Furthermore, after Atticus learns that Scout beat up a classmate who was talking trash about him, Atticus tells his daughter, you just hold your head high and keep those fists down. That's not bad. That's like the bulk of it right there. I punctuated this properly picked a transition from page nine, pieced together a lead in through some websites that helped me. It's cheap, don't get me wrong. We're doing this the cheap way. But if you wanna demonstrate that you understand these writing concepts, this is this may be how you're gonna do it if you didn't read the book. Uh, and then last but not least, the lead out, which will probably take the most amount of time. How or why does the evidence suggest, imply, or indicate that Atticus tries to be a good role model for his kids? I like the word suggests. This, these words of Atticus suggest that he's interested in, no. He thinks it's important that his, that Scout learn to use her head more to face her problems. Currently she likes to 
solve issues with her fists. The, I mean, the whole point is that I'm trying to prove through this piece of evidence that Atticus tries to be a good role model for his kids. So I got to, I have to come back to that in the, in the lead out. Atticus is demonstrating No, nah. it's his advice. Atticus's advice See, this is the hard part, the lead out. Shows him as a role model. He, as a lawyer, he, he fights with his head every, every day. That's his whole job. Not, not amazing. Of course, that's my first attempt at it. I could always go back and reword it if a better way to explain it felt like it, it kind of like came to me later. So that's, that's fine. But what do I have? I got a transition, I got a lead in, I got an attributive tag, I punctuated the text evidence in the citation properly. And I've got, even if it's not that good, I at least have a lead out that I can work on later if something better occurs. Now, if you do that three times, is it going to take you some time? Yeah. Yeah. But the audiobook in its entirety is like 13 hours. If you didn't do a good job of reading the book, in 13 hours, but you still want to do well on the writing, and it seems like your classmates are moving faster than you, it's because they read the book. So the least you can do if you want to do well on the writing is try to piecemeal some meaning together. And that doesn't include copying a chunk and pasting it in, because that's plagiarism. That's not what we're talking about here. You're using some resources, not copying some resources, but you're using some resources in order to help you solve a problem, which is that you didn't read To Kill a Mockingbird and now you're being asked to write about it. So that's one of them. I don't know how long it took. I don't know how long this video is right now, but if you can imagine, it's gonna start with your motivation. Do you wanna do well on this piece of writing? Do you wanna demonstrate that you can, you can use these concepts to make an argument and to present some text evidence? If so, it is gonna take you a little bit, a little while. You have to put that time in. You didn't read the book. Or you didn't do a good job of reading the book. So this is how you can solve that problem. I can't believe I just showed you that, but I did. Good luck.